Hi, I'm Dan Fran Sudik. My name is Jeremiah Cunningham. My name is Gage Lenhart. My name is Jack Sloan. My name is Stephen Burt. My name is Evan. My name is Aaron and Abner. One of the things I like about land surveying the most is uh, researching the information and going out and finding old survey monuments in the field that haven't been recovered in over 100 years. The best part about being a land surveyor is all of the variety and everything you get to do. You get to take a certain skill set and really interesting equipment and go lots of different places, meet, meet lots of different people, and you get to use that skill set to help them solve their problems. The best part about being a land surveyor is uh, the discovery element. Looking for um, old monuments that were set hundreds of years ago, carved stones, things like that. It's uh, kind of like treasure hunting, which is really neat. I think the best parts about being a land surveyor for me is we have a lot of interaction with other building kind of departments. Uh, we meet up with a lot of other construction crews. So you kind of get to see all the aspects come together. To me, the best part about being a land surveyor is my projects have a lot of variety to them. You know, part of the week I'm in the office, another part of the week I'm in the field. I have the option to go do research or professional testimony. There's just a whole lot of things I get to do and it's never the same thing twice. I actually started in an engineering program. The summers, I would go off and work on a survey crew. And during those times, I got bit by the land survey bug. There's two different paths you can take. One is to go to college like I did and get a degree in geomatics or surveying. And the other would be to become an entry level surveyor and work up through the uh, profession and learn the different skills like a trade would. With Intellis, it's mostly everything I've learned has been from Intellis. I've learned a few things at community college, but everything's been taught to me by several mentors. To get started in a land surveying career, the best thing to do is to just jump in. And TELUS offers on the job experience to our field techs and you learn a lot by just doing something that's so hands-on. Also, if you want to get a license, you often need uh, education and in Utah, you can get your education concurrent with your hands-on experience. When I got hired at Intellis, I had no prior background in surveying whatsoever. I've been here just about a year now. Uh, towards the end of this month will be my one year and I've learned more than I could have thought within a year. I'm confident in a lot of the things we do now. Intellis has taught me a bunch. I've learned a lot from my crew chief supervisors and uh, my boss as well. I think the uh, most interesting thing that happened to me in the field was early in my career, we were working on a major project uh, at my first uh, job in Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, we were approached and interviewed by a news uh, crew who uh, showed us on the news later that night. The most exciting thing, probably uh, stepping on a rattlesnake at Taliesin West. It was completely dark and I stepped on it and I felt a squish and then whatever it was pulled itself out from under my boot. And I jumped and turned on my light and there was a like four foot rattlesnake in front of me on the trail and it just slithered off after I had stepped on it, didn't seem to care. When you're in the field, I think the most interesting thing is getting to see the historical monuments. Out here, you see stone carved monuments, you see mounds, you see all sorts of different kinds of monuments and, and historical drawings and historical maps and such. And you get a, a feel for how the country was laid out over hundreds of years that, that people have been uh, setting, a, setting up and, and working through the process of the United States of America.